Grand rising, my friends. In the boundless journey of existence, the wisdom that accompanies one's soul as it is refined into divine purity often emerges from the crucible of adversity. As I, Imhotep, reflect upon teachings that humble enlightened ones, I find a gem of truth in the adage, it's not about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Indeed, the essence of this saying lies not in the realm of combat, but in the enduring spirit of resilience, a quality that transforms mere mortals into beings of indomitable spirit. Life, in its infinite wisdom, often presents trials not to weaken our resolve, but to forge it in the furnace of challenge, to temper the steel of our souls in the fires of hardship. Each blow we endure, if faced with grace and tenacity, not only tests our mettle, but also enhances our essence, molding us into embodiments of fortitude. The landscape of existence is strewn with both roses and thorns. With every thorn that pricks us, we are gifted a chance to learn, to grow, to transcend the ephemeral and touch the eternal. It beckons us to rise each time we fall, to seek the unyielding flame of perseverance within that can withstand the storms of fate. Ah, the benevolent cycle of growth, the sweet nectar of wisdom gleaned from the bitter herbs of challenge. This venerable cycle propels us forward on the wings of enlightenment towards a horizon where our spirits soar unbridled, unbroken by the tempests of life's uncertainties. Beloved, when the winds of adversity howl, you will not recoil in fear, but face them with a heart full of courage and a soul fortified with resolve. For in every challenge, there lies a promise of evolution, a whisper of potential awaiting to be unfurled with the dawn of understanding. I know you will traverse the path of life not with trepidation, but with a valiant heart that echoes the profound truth. It's not the strength of the blow, but the strength of the soul that embraces the blow, which truly defines our essence. I love you, you love you, God loves us, and that's all that matters.